So it's going to not only come forward, it's also going to go a little downward. Why are we doing it? Because we want some space here. Advance the maxilla, a lot of work on the mandible. He's sleeping for a long time, I think. Uh, after a long time. gone through your reports and you know so you I think already know right yeah. so the same thing nothing new nothing alarming just what we know from your earlier studies is documented now okay uh, so all of these are not wanted for us the next paper they've tried to do for a CPAP and all that okay. we're going to solve your problem okay now we've got your models ready so I'll quickly explain uh, what our plan is so we're going to be bringing your upper jaw forward by three millimeters forwards. So like this horizontally, and there's going to be an anti-clockwise movement also. So we're going to not move it just forward, but tip the back part of the teeth down, not in front, only the back part. So it comes forward, but we tip it like this. This is clockwise, oh, okay. this is anti-clockwise, okay? Why are we doing it? Because we want some space here. Right. Okay. And we don't want to move more here to change your face in a not so aesthetic fashion, right? Then we will move the lower jaw about the same rotation downwards and same rotation forwards. So the whole jaw will move by six, seven millimeters, right? Then we'll move your chin by about 12 Yes, so we're going to totally move, yeah, we're going to move, it, it needs, yeah, yeah. so in effect, moving your lower jaw by about 18 millimeters or so, upper jaw forward by 3 millimeters, final result, okay. the tipping also will be there along with this, okay. that's the plan for you, so we're just working on our so models and everything. How this shape will come, if it is going? So, I, that's, I told Will you, you like <laughs> shape like this, nice strong lower jaw. And my chin will be broad or anything? So we are not going to alter the width of the chin. The chin width is good. We let the chin width remain. We'll just get it in a much more uh, better position. So it's going to not only come forward, it's also going to go a little downward because you know, we're bringing the posterior down. So this part will come down and the face will come forward. Uh, I thought this chin was uh, small in proportion to the face. It is small. So we're going to augment it. No, 18 millimeters, it's going to come forward, well, right? I'm not sure about forward or backward. I'm uh. thinking about the width. No, the width is good. The width is good. There's no problem with the width. It's just the place it's positioned. So we don't have to widen it or narrow it or nothing. Okay. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. I'll show you. I don't have any on the no, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Not really needed for you. Um, so it's between the your width of the pyriform rim. See, it looks so much so because of the uh, retrusion once and then there's loose skin, right? Once we bring it forward to that, it's not going to look, don't think it's going to look uh, feminine. It's going to look masculine. No, no, it's going to look masculine. Definitely, 100%. Yeah. No, 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 nothing's going to happen to your nose. Like I said, your nose is pretty much going to be the same. It's not going to get worse okay. and if you want more refinement, you'll have to look at a surgery later on or six months later or something for your rhinoplasty. It's not going to get bad. Don't worry about, it, worry about your nose. I'd be happy if you can have a clean shave though, including your moustache. Is that possible? I can get, get it outside. Can it yeah, I think it's better because we're going to be working all over. Then we'll put plasters when we do here, you know, it's this is going to be... Difficult for you, uh, for us also Can difficult. Can I have trim or you want a complete shave with better? Ideally, a shave is better. Yeah. Preferable. But if not, at least a very fine trim. I would prefer a clean shave. Okay. I'll have to go and get it done and come there. Sure. Okay. 
No, we can do that because we are uh, doctors working on our team. They're working. I can see here. Yeah? Okay. So they'll take a while to you know make the splints and everything. Okay. And we're going to schedule you only after lunch. Okay. Not that I want you to eat anything. You're going to be fasting, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No water, nothing. Uh, you can get a clean shave and then you can come and just take rest. Okay. They'll take an hour or so to just prepare you, take you on top. And then by the time a model is going to be ready, then we'll show them to you again and then we'll take up, take you up for surgery. Right, so here we are with a patient uh, who came to us with chief complaint of sleeping disorder, which is called as obstructive sleep apnea. Uh, so what happens is when he has, uh, when he goes to sleep, he wakes up, chokes in the middle of the night just because he's not able to breathe properly and uh, this is because his um, he's having a very less uh, parapharyngeal space due to which uh, he's you know having all these issues of you know waking up in his sleep and uh, not able to sleep properly not able to sleep at a stretch for a, lo a long time so um, he has uh, so the non surgical um, treatment would be a CPAP which is uh, pretty good works for quite a lot of people and he has himself tried it um, but he did not uh, get any results and uh, when we come to the surgical aspect uh, again there are a lot of uh, treatment options but a maxillomandibular advancement or a by jaw surgery what, what we call is also a uh, very promising treatment for the treatment of obstructive sleep apnea and that's what we're going to perform for this patient. Uh, we're going to uh, advance the maxilla and uh, we're also going to do a lot of work on the mandible. This will clear or increase the parapharyngeal space and that will automatically uh, improve the issue that he's facing. The improvement will be gradual because initially he won't be able to tell uh, immediately post-op he will be having edema. Uh, so you'll have to wait it out. It's not like you're going to just have the surgery. It will be better. Your snoring will uh, drastically like considerably come down uh, immediately after surgery. That is one thing you will notice immediate post-op. But with the edema, with the swelling, uh, you might still have those episodes of um, uh, you know choking and all that but it will definitely be much better than uh, what it was okay so uh, anyways we will be following up with this patient on a day-to-day -day basis so that we can ask him questions as to how his recovery is and you will also know how uh, obstructive sleep apnea patients benefit from maxillomandibular advancement. patient who has severe obstructive sleep apnea and this is the procedure that's done on the upper jaw. Now we're going to show you what was done on the lower jaw. So you see this? So you can see the gap here. This is from the bilateral palatal split of chart. I mean where we are advancing and also getting the occlusion after we've done the counterclockwise movement of the upper jaw. 
So basically, this is done just to get the pipe, and then you can see the genioplasty or the chin augmentation. Again, with two plates, these second ones, two mental nerves coming out. This is POD2 uh, following a by jaw surgery and uh, this patient came to us with complaints of obstructive sleep apnea and uh, he's, he's sleeping for a long time I think uh, after a long time because he's been able to sleep comfortably as we have advanced both the maxilla and the mandible. Uh, have you noticed an, any improvement in your sleeping pattern? Okay, too early to say, but I feel that uh, I heard my, at, uh, my relative that I got snoring. And You're I'm snoring? I'm not snoring. You're not snoring, huh? And I feel that I'm not snoring because I'm not getting an irritating sleep. Okay? So I feel there's an stuck in fluid, because I feel there's a lot of room inside my mouth. But the air is open now, and the air is going slowly without getting disturbed, disturbed my sleep. Mm. So that's an improvement. That's good because um, he does have some occlusal discrepancy as of now, and that is uh, that is usually a normal thing after a bite or surgery some amount of occlusal discrepancy it will bother to the patient to a certain extent but uh, we are going to do a minimal coronoplasty for him so that his occlusion is perfect because that's what we achieved on table uh, a good occlusion uh, these minor discrepancies will be corrected when the edema settles down uh, the patient is comfortable maybe post-operative day four maybe day after tomorrow we are scheduling him for a coronoplasty. So that's the plan as of now. He's still on a liquid diet and uh, we want him to continue that for another three days or two days and then you can switch on to soft diet. By then, I mean, your bite will be better. Hmm? I think you have very less edema. For a bite or surgery, it's still less. Okay, okay. So it's good. So, Doctor, I want to hold it. You want to reduce, then I want to do the work on the tooth. You want to? Reduce the edema for the end, then I want to work on the tooth. Yeah, it'll reduce. See, the edema always peaks on day two and day three. It goes up the graph. First day is okay. okay. Second day is more. Third day is the highest. And then third day evening onwards, it settles down. So, okay. that's the usual graph of the swellings coming in and say How many more? How many more? So what is this? This is the end check it. Did you know here? There is a little bit of a projection because you rotated the upper jaw so that will remain. That will remain to a certain extent. That's so swelling. Like I said, the overall appearance will be better than before. Yeah. There will be some areas where, like, for example, the teeth are a bit long and your bite is still not perfect. It takes a bite. Yeah, that's fine. That's a good grinding effect on the right. It's a very bad idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you think I thought about this. When you're telling me something, I don't know. It will come down even more. It will be this alignment. It's still alignment on the possibility of the right. So, what we have to do is, I want to wait for three months. Okay. We wait for everything to settle down. Okay. The uh, swelling and everything. And after that, we can get some dental work done. No surgery. So, like a bridge or something only in the front teeth. We can't press the crown. No braces at your age is not a good idea. Young age, you can do braces. But it's okay, right? I can now eat it now. Yeah, 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 you can eat it now. It's only a sitting. And how is your snoring? It's gone already or it's still there? So, Dr. Lepona, take on it. The after job, what you pulled up, so that will give us a space. Because during the day, I thought we would have to breathe it for us. Night that I have to do the So now you put it in front of the sun, you put it in 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 the sun,
for a few weeks. Now that the Lord is great, the ice became this involved and the inner thread of the dam earlier. So that's great in that film again, right? No. You should not fill up. Why should it fill up? You need space then for your airway. Yeah. The tendency will audit that. No, no, no. No, no, no. That is the airway. No, no. What I recommend is, I mean, if you can, it's nicer if I can meet you after a few months. Not now. Maybe after four or six months. You can come this first, like, Friday evening. You start coming on Saturday morning. Sunday night you can go back home. One day. So what I'll do is, we'll first take a CBCT, we'll do a MRI dynamic, or at least do a CBCT and check everything. And before you come, get a polysomnography study and come. So we'll also know exactly because you know what, I'm sure it will be solved. But if still at some level there's anything, or we can see quantitatively. You know. So. You have done the hundred percent. Yes. I did it even when we stayed for the thing. Nothing. But we can see all the details for you. It's a, it's like a, let's say the proof of proof of the pudding lies in the eating, something like that. You will really get to see. No, it's, it's useful for patients also, because you know educated patients and patients who are informed always want to know, see things and believe. Okay. Always seeing is believing. Hearing is yeah. okay. Not as much as so seeing. Now, most of it, you have to get well. Perfect. They'll do it before you go. Yeah. So, you can come to the difference. Oh, yeah. Um, giant, you know, but now, you can do the exact thing because of the swelling. Oh, yeah. So that, that is why I'm saying 4 to 6 months. Oh, okay. But, we will be a fair bit of Yeah. Now, yeah. also, we take this off, so all of the pressure will be removed tomorrow. There's a little bit of a... It's quite... Uh, I don't know. Now, swelling is off, so it's not look... Uh, Sharp. No, no, it will resolve. No, but it's not a scalping. You are done here. No, we won't do scalping. And you already have this at home, or you are not broken it, or you are not you are tested, right? You broken it fully. Okay. Okay. So if you have broken it, so this is one piece. If you have broken, so it's open like this, and then the other picture like this. No, no, no. We brought it forward and rotated it. There will be a gap in some area. That's why you feel no, that gap. It's a gap. But it will slowly go away. So don't try to press it or anything. Okay, I won't do it. We will not feel that after 4 to 6 months. Yeah, I feel it now. Nothing will be there. Will feel that I will do very well. No, no, I won't do this. No. My muscles have to attach and everything. Don't worry about anything. You don't have that kind of an issue. I feel this point. Worst scenario, there are a few patients, maybe 2 out of 3 or something about 100 patients, they feel that. You know what we do? Uh, so when you come, we remove those plates. Because it just fuses after about 2 3 months. We can remove the plates and solve the problem. If at all. You won't feel at all once you remove the plates. That edge will go away. Okay, that edge. So, how many plates are here? We'll show you the exact numbers. I can't remember now which how many. I think we would have put four or five plates in there. We will take a scan and show them.